How about another small segment of SHTF emergency comms? How's it going guys? Corey the Random Guy back at you again today. Today I'm making two videos on the SHTF emergency comms. The last one that you guys just seen was with CB radios, um, HF radios, scanners, and how you can get information long range and then translate that into your community with the FRS or MERS or whatever you guys have. But before we begin this video, I'd like you guys to keep liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting, hitting that notification bell so you guys don't miss anything. Thumbs up, thumbs down. You guys are doing amazing. Okay, this this is all learning process here. You guys are learning a bunch. There are things out there that I don't know. So, I mean, if you guys know it, please feel free to share. We do have a P.O. Box for the channel. Fan mail is welcome. P.O. Box addresses will be in the description below. And you can also find them on the about, about section of the channel. And also, don't forget, we have a community tab that you guys can comment, share, whatever that you guys feel that needs to be shared with relating to this video or any other videos you guys seen. You guys feel free to jump on there and just start communicating with each other. So with that being said, let's move on. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. We have said that little walkie-talkies are great for very short range communication. We have also said that having a the ability to have like a Baofeng on a external antenna would increase your range, but you're still limited on information gathering of what's going on. Therefore, that's where CBs come in, come into play. External antennas, you guys can rely on the, I guess I shouldn't say rely because it's very unpredictable but you guys can use the atmosphere to your advantage for gathering signals and listening to what's going on around, passing that along via your short range communication. But here's a tip for you guys. If you guys have a list of frequencies like I do for emergencies and you guys print them off, go out, get yourself a cheap laminator. Laminators are not that expensive. We got this one at Walmart. No, they are not paying me to show this i bought this with my own money but here's a cheap laminator letter size that's all you guys need 18 bucks for this and it comes with five sheets of the laminating pouches the laminating pouches you can get either five mil or three mil depending on how thick you want them but what this is going to do when you laminate these frequencies here is it's going to keep them dry and it's going to prevent them from fading so this is a very good way to keep all of your frequencies that you have that you want to use to communicate with with people outside your community to see what's going on or pass information that you found out that they haven't you know all of that fun stuff it's also very handy for keeping your important documents you know dry keeping from getting faded um, stuff like that such as birth certificates. I'm going to show you guys a couple of examples of what you guys can do. You guys can actually go out on the web right now while the internet is still going. Download yourselves digital copies of these and paper copies. Here is one of them. This is the 333 radio plan. It gives you a list of frequencies that you guys can use. It gives the FRS, uh, GMRS, PMR, MERS, then you got CB AM, which is channel 3 and channel 9 AM, which is great for preppers and highway safety. Single side bands, you have 36 upper side band, 37 upper side band, and then you have the CB free bands. If your radio is not capable of uh, free bands, and we'll get into that in, in another video, but if your radio is not capable of uh, free banding, then you know those free band frequencies aren't really going to do you any good. You have VHF, UHF, HAM, and HF HAM. You can get down if you have a radio that is capable, like the ICOM sitting up there, that is capable of going down to three megahertz and below or above that, anywhere in between from zero to 30 megahertz. That also shows frequencies right down there in the bottom that you guys can go to. And of course, you got your marine bands. You guys can pick up marine band radios for relatively cheap. This right here, the 333 radio plan, is just an example. And you guys can see I have it laminated. It will not get damaged. It will not get faded. I can throw this in a puddle of water, pull it out, and it'd be just fine. And this is another one that I made because I looked it up. And I went ahead and I made my own list, printed it off. I also have a digital copy of it. Basically what I'm saying here is, is that you guys can 
you know, have a list of frequencies kind of like what I got here and use them. Use them, keep them around for your guys' emergency things. And what's really cool about laminating this stuff is, is you can take dry erase markers mark down stuff on it that you have heard or whatever until you can kind of use it as like a little notepad or something. You can also check off active frequencies that you can get information from or whatever the case is. So that that's another tip for you guys to have in your guys' emergency stuff. Now the laminator itself, I do not know how much wattage it takes so if you guys run on solar and that's another thing we'll get into in another video the next video that i am going to explain to you guys is digital copies of pretty much anything that you guys can have so anyway guys until next time 309 central iowa signing off stay safe guys